March 1st, 2024. Doing something different for you guys today. Doing a uh, bit of a different ice update than we normally do. Doing a super ice update. So, um, Big Ronnie and I, we are going, to, we're gonna go around Lake Simcoe today. We're gonna check out a bunch of different spots, different locations, um, popular fishing spots on the side of Lake Simcoe. And we're just gonna check them out. We're gonna get the drone up in the air. We're gonna go walk out there and we're gonna just see see what it's looking like. I mean, obviously, just like anytime you go fishing, you should always uh, use the ice at your own risk. And if you don't know what you're doing out there, then simply don't go out. But uh, but yeah, if you uh, if you guys didn't get out much this winter, um, and we're hoping to get out this weekend, it might be good. We had some pretty mild temp temps this week. Uh, a lot of it was starting to melt away. It was looking pretty pretty rough. But uh, but yeah, it actually ended up getting kind of cold the past few nights, so that was good. Um, again, the lake is by no means safe, but at least I can give you a bit of an idea on if these spots are fishable uh, at this time. So yeah, it's Friday, so hopefully you guys can uh, get out like one or two more times before the season's done, But uh, but yeah. I'm gonna start off uh, around Port Bolster area, so that's gonna be my first spot. We're gonna make our way all the way to Cooks Bay today, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up a bunch of spots and uh, and give you guys our two cents on on uh, if it's if it's okay or not. Uh, no Miles today. He was being a sucky baby, but what else is new? Jeez, the poor baby works like 80-hour work weeks and just thinks that he can just take time off making YouTube videos. Loser Miles, loser. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> maybe you should get out of bed sometime. Anyways, okay, bye. Here, definitely don't bring bringing your machines out here unless it's a can and we could stand to lose one of those all right that's why shoreline looking rough Ronnie you knucklehead Ron John This is what the shorelines are looking like. Ugh. Come on, Rhonda. Go back. Alright guys, so the shorelines over here in Port Bolster are absolute garbage. Rhonda and I both tried walking out here and just got soakers. So, if you guys are going to come out, definitely use a spud bar because this ice is garbage. Alrighty squad, we have now arrived to the old Willow Beach. And this actually looks like a good fishable spot. There is probably like, I would say like maybe 10, 15 people out here fishing. So that's kind of cool to see. Again, I ain't saying this lake is safe. <laughs>
Jesus, getting tiring. Okay, well anyways, I've just finished up here at Willow Beach. I'm gonna check one more location. I'm gonna go over to Cook's Bay, or just to like the north end of Cook's Bay. And I'm gonna check that last location and then I will be done this, ed this video. And then I get the fun job of going home and editing it all. So yeah, you guys better appreciate this hard work for your boy. Anywho, um, see you at the next location. Bye. Oh, alrighty, guys. Last place we're checking out here. It's the end of Rainer's Road in Cook's Bay. So again, this place looks like it might be fairly fishable I can see I can see a couple ice fishermen out there is the ice update the super ice update for March 1st um, again if you're gonna go out this weekend be careful and uh, don't die and yeah other than that uh, if you guys like the video make sure to like subscribe do whatever you want okay bye <laughs>